Today we're looking at a beautiful 1933 Ford Factory 5 Roadster. Now this is a kit car, like I said, from Factory 5. A gorgeous car. So Factory 5 did supply the body and the chassis for this car. And this is an all new build. There was very, there were no donor parts in this build. And this is an exceptionally detailed build. Now this car here is finished in a high gloss black, which shows excellent. Very few, if any, defects in the body and paint. And complemented nicely by a black leather interior that is all new and custom. This car here is powered by a fuel injected four, uh, 351 Ford small block, backed by a TCI built T, uh, AOD automatic transmission. And putting power to the rear wheels is a Ford 8.8 .8 now this car has got a lot of little custom touches and everything is powered. The doors are on poppers, which is always awesome. And there's suicide, which gives this car a really cool look when you're opening the doors. But as you can see, everything is leather inside here. The center console is covered in leather, the custom bucket seats, door panels are finished. You get some nice Dakota Digital gauges in the center of the dash there, which is nicely painted to match the exterior of the car. This car is nicely optioned with a tilt, I did it column, power windows, touchscreen, stereo, and there's a Pioneer speakers. Yeah, and this car does have electronic power steering, power brakes, very easy driving car. Just a very nice interior, has that padded roof. Mirrors are actually functional, they actually do work despite their tiny size. Moving on to under the hood, the remote the release is in the front. So you release that, you walk up front, pull the hood forward, and tilt it right up. There is a hood prop here in the middle of the hood. I'm just not going to use it right now. You have a cantilevered coilover front suspension. This coilovers front and back with a four link on the rear. You see you have an Edelbrock intake, MSD fuel injection like I said as well as MSD electronic ignition. Engine base beautifully detailed, shows very well. This car is show ready. Now the slots in the side are not from Factory 5. Those were a custom touch to help let that 351 get rid of some of that heat it generates. 351 was professionally built, makes 427 horsepower and around 460 foot-pounds of torque, which is plenty to move this tiny little car down the road. Now I'll move on to the trunk area. Which like the rest of the car is nicely finished, nicely carpeted. You do have a plug-in battery charger. The box for MSD is in the back here. This here is the panel to access your battery. So everything's nice where you can get to it. It looks clean, nice, like I said, show ready, billet hinges. There are a lot of just little details on this car. And it's not very common that you see these 33s finished to this extent. Full fender, full skirts. And this is a Roadster, so this hardtop is removable. We do have the Roadster windshield. It is still new in the box, never been mounted to the car. We have everything to install it if you decide you want to roll this top down. So, beautiful car. Can't say enough nice things about how good this car looks. The wheels are built, staggered billet replicas. With that torque thrust style wheel chrome. You got the Willwood brakes behind there, which help bring this car to an easy stop and wrapped in Nitto rubber. So, yeah, so beautiful car and uh, time to take it for a test drive.
driver's got a good seating position. Uh, legs do rub the center console a little bit, but not bad. I got plenty of space that I can actually hit the brake and gas with just my right foot. How's your space? You know, not bad. Okay. Take a look at this one. Yeah, absolutely. Rock Solid Motorsports. 